Hey guys, how's everyone doing? I have missed you so, so much, but I'm really excited because today I'm doing an Opoly haul. Um, my birthday's coming up soon, so I've been on a hunt for a dress, and I've seen Opoly stuff before, but I thought they were a bit too revealing until the garden collection came out, which I absolutely fell in love with. They have so much like romantic coquette vibes, which I love so much. To anybody who's new, my name's Ayana. Welcome to my channel. Okay guys, so this is how the box came. And I haven't opened it because I thought it would be good to open it together. So I could just like show you my first impression because I've never bought anything from them. So that's why I'm really excited for this box. Let's unbox it. I'm a savage opener, so yeah. Oh, it's so cute. The clothes are kind of bursting out, but it's fine. So I got two boxes here. Look how cute these are. Um, this one is kind of already open and they're just like bursting out, but it's fine. these two i love the packaging i love how pink it is because uh pink is my favorite color okay you're you're new nothing feels better than a brand new fit we hope you love it i have a feeling i'm gonna love this guys i have the cutest engraving on side hooks okay so my first dress this is my first dress Open it. I feel like these are like all giving really princess vibes so far what I've seen from them. Take care. So this is the Florine. I hope I'm saying this right. This is so much prettier than I thought it would be. I am so in love with this dress oh my god it's really giving rapunzel vibes to me with like the purple and everything but i really like this one especially with this golden tip on the strap i will show you in more detail in a minute when i try it on so that's number one that was 45 46 pounds in the color dusty pit pink in the size six i have the clelia or clelia i don't know how to say it but this is my, this is so, so cute. It's really giving Cinderella ocean vibes of the really pretty blue color. It is 35 pounds in um, size six. This is, I think it was, yeah, sky gray color. And I love how all the, so far all the dresses I've just seen, uh, the straps are adjustable. So that's good. It's so pretty. I feel like I could just like picture myself walking in the night with this dress on, like next to the seaside. Oh my gosh. The thing I'd say about this dress so far, even though I've not tried it on, it's a little bit short, but I could put something underneath it, okay? Like, no one will know. <laughs> so I'm really like, let's go to the next dress. Okay, next up I have the fleur, or the fleur, but I don't know how to say the name, but this is it. I love how, like, aesthetic the packaging is. But this is the dress. I absolutely love it. This is a size 6. Um, in the colour blue. Just blue, not soft blue or anything. Love the basics. And it's not too short, which I think is good. Um, this was £39. Okay, so next up, I have the Jadis, which I I thought this was very ballerina princess aesthetic to this dress. So I picked this one out. This is one of the one I had on my wish list, which did run out. Because lots of them went out of stock before i got them but 
this is what it looks like right now you can see it has a little bow which i think is very pretty and feminine i'm gonna grab it out she's the color soft pink it was 45 pounds and because i think it has like more of a stretchy material uh we got this in size four but oh my gosh look at this guys this is the dream this is absolutely so cute so this one um i think it's very gorgeous the way they've like made the patterns over here and the little bow it's just so cute and it's definitely not too short because it has two layers underneath it has another layer underneath it which is great i'm so excited to play this one we have the fabiola which was one of the ones that caught my eye and i was like yes i need to make an o poly haul this is the fabiola another pink one like i told you i have this huge pink obsession but yeah let's open it can't wait to wear all these dresses for summer having a moment i absolutely love this um i i think it's so cute it has a bubble hem bubble hem. oh my, this is so adorable let me just fix the skirt a bit this is a size eight because they ran out of my size um in the color soft pink this was 75 pounds but look how cute the back is and you can adjust it with this adorable bow which I love. Um, I think this will be my size. And it has um, a zip on the side of it. This um, is the one that I would... I think if this is too big, um, this is like the dress that I'd 100% go back into the store or order it and demand a smaller size when they restock. But this is so cute. <laughs> So I'm going to put my very loved, loved dress down for a minute. Next, I have the Esmeralda. This is the only one so far which is in the colour Ivory. I'm going to... Oops. So I don't want to, like, break it while opening it. Look how this is giving me like the movie Brave. This is massive. Not massive, I mean like it's a longer dress. Longer dress than the other ones. Well, this is it. Very long. I love long dresses, so this is the back. Very stretchy material. This is a uh, size six. 75 in the color ivory i can just imagine this with like some ballet flats it looks so adorable i love the bat the, the buttoning over here the buttoning detail i think it's very very beautiful very exquisite so that's that dress i think i'm gonna rate them in the end because i have this like fascination with rating but this one i've saved my the one I was most excited for for last, but this could change when I try them on because well, I'm opening it with you. So this is the Eugenie. Okay, let's be really soft with this one. This one is the most expensive one. This was £100. £100. Um, size 6 in the colour blush. But look how cute this is. Um, very, very gorgeous. So this is the front of the dress. Dress, I think. I think, yeah. With the, I love the skirt so much. Falling in love, be like. <laughs> so.
so so gorgeous i have been waiting all this time to show you guys this one but i can't wait to try them on now and prove who's the best as i rate them let's try out some dresses okay guys so this is the first one that uh, i unboxed i think it's really cute how it has like this underneath it but i don't feel like it's my dress i feel like it's someone else's dress but it doesn't like it's not for me, it's too tight over here and I feel like I can't breathe, I can't cough. Um, but I think if I get a bigger size, it'll be too big. The Clelia, um, absolutely love this for holiday. It is so adorable. I would love to walk on the beach, all of it. Um, the colour is adorable and I love how it's like stretchy material um the only thing it's a bit short and i think it'll be like better for someone who's a little bit shorter because um for my height um it's like kind of like sleeping up so i don't think i'd be able to wear this in london but definitely a yes for travel like for the beach and for the pool that was like so cute like and uh the straps this is this strap goes over my neck in the back but there's another one that underneath which is tucked in which goes like that over your shoulders so there's two ways to wear it um this is the dress over here like like a little hole where they're peeping out like so so cute it's so cinderella vibes except this cut out which i don't think was needed okay like um put some more just like patch it up but other than that i think it's so cute let's see if i can it's so stunning after i adjusted the um and i moved it up a bit more the dress let's see is there any more layers there's nothing underneath so twirling lightly I'm in love. This is such a cute dress when you move, when you tighten this bit. So, back. Love the back of the back is so, so adorable. With the bows, the bow thing. But this is, ah! I think this is going to be, might be the one, guys. This might be the one. I love how they all have a second layer. So, it's like, even if this one was see through, which it's not. It wouldn't like show too much, but I love the Cinderella way. Like the boob is popping out here, so like if I'm going out or something, no matter how much I do it, you have like a little side boob peep it peep, peeping out. You gotta like, I tried to adjust, I literally like with the string, it's not working. So I don't know what's going on here, but I still love this one. This is like. Definitely one of my favourites, and I'm really, really considering it for my birthday. So pretty. Next up, I have the Jadis. Um, no words. I'm in love. The only thing I would say about this is cat out here is a little bit revealing and the skirt's a little bit short, but it has a second layer. I have no words for this. This is so, so cute. And I feel like it's like kind of giving loungewear, like you wouldn't wear it outside, but it is so far the comfiest dress that I've tried on from what I've bought today, my haul. It is so soft and I love how it's really giving ballerina. Like the way it has this and the bow is very like. This is the cutest. I love the jeans. I feel like I wasn't going to get this before because I thought it was going to like really, really, really like revealing at the back, but it's really pretty. So why this bit's longer and the sides are longer, but the back's really, really short which I find um, a bit weird when you're walking outside. Um, <clears throat> but I think it's really, really cute for at home. I would just relax at home. As long as I don't stay in it, because this would be my favorite dress for home. Um. 
guys this is the Fabiola and I feel like a medieval wife this is so cute I love 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 the buttons over here I think they are very charming detail for this dress this is the longest dress I've tried on and on the website they have this also in blue but it, I wasn't the biggest fan of blue when I was looking but I've tried on two blue out dresses and well I'm in love so maybe I'll get this one in blue look at this, this is this you can also, for this bit, um, you can open it or make it tighter as much as you want. Can't see your bed. I love it. This is like, my, this is like, I love how, I don't think this was going to fit me because it's an eight. Because it ran out in six. But this one fits me, so. The other ones fit me too, but this one was like, was in another layer. So when I twirl, this bit's a bit more see-through though. It's all see-through, but this has extra. This is like everything that I've seen in the movies. I think this one looks so, so cute in pink. But yeah, I feel very, I can't get over this dress. I love it if they had it in pink though. It would look so, so cute as a pink dress for my birthday or just for a weekend out. Um, Anything I would say about my dress? No, not really. Nothing. I have no comment except it could be pink. And no, nothing else. I love how long it is. So goes uh, under my knees, which is great. Not too short. And I could just like, I like have this like little obsession. When I'm card, I can just go into like, like that. Like when presents do and they spread their thing on the floor. And they're talking to bunnies and they're like... <laughs> Guys, so this is the Fabiola. I, I love this one so, so much. This one I love. I just wish the skirt would be a bit more full. Um, I love, I really love the corset. I think the only thing about this, I need to get like a smaller size because this is an eight and I'm a six. And I love how you can cinch in the waist. So when I get the six, I can like really cinch it in. Um, it comes with built-in shorts. I'm like, I can't, I have like a addiction to built-in shorts and dresses. So you don't have to wear like shorts are like too big for the dress or they stand out. Which is exactly with the dress. I love the corset too. It's so, so pretty. I'm just like, I love this dress. I just need to get a smaller size. Okay guys, so this is the Eugenie. Um, I would say I love, love, love the beading detail over here. I think it's really, really stunning. Um, they have a little dress underneath it. I would much prefer if it was short instead, but this bit's, sh this bit's longer uh, than the front bit, which I love because I like, I don't want it to be too short. Um, I struggle to get into this one by myself because I feel like it's very, like, compressing and you can't, like, Harness and like the other one, the other corset, but I still love it. I think this one's a six, so that's it. This is the most expensive one. This is a hundred pounds. Um, out of one of these, the Eugenie, everybody. Thank you. Is it? Let me know which one you think is best out of all the seven dresses, and. In a minute, I'm going to tell you guys which one my personal favourite is. It's so hard to pick. Okay, so I'm now going to rate my dresses because I promise to and I always keep a promise. So the first one I tried on was the Florian. This is a 6 out of 10. It wasn't my style. It's not my vibe. It's just not me. Next, we have the Clelia. This is a 10 out of 10. I loved it so, so much. Um... I really love how it's giving um, ocean, beach, pool vibe. Even though I can't wear it for my birthday because it's a bit short, I would love to wear it on holiday. Um, it is really beautiful. 
and it's very stretchy material so I can breathe and it's not tight so I can run on the beach and look it's a very summery dress. The Fleur, this is an 8.5 out of 10. I really liked it, it's really, um, I kind of think it's a short ball gown, um, like Cinderella. It's a bit revealing around the waist, um, I feel, and I don't like it how it has those two cuts um, where the waist is. Um, next, I have the Jadis, number four. Um, this is a three out of ten because I think it's, I can't wear this outside. It's very loungewear and very see-through. Um, I just don't feel like I'll be able to walk outside, even though it's double lined, it's just really hollow and I, it's just so cold outside and in summer it's going to be too hot and this is um the fifth one we opened is the fabiola this one um is a nine out of ten i really loved it i love how it's built in shorts i think that's very comfortable and if i do twirl it's making sure that my skirt is not going to go up and like, i'm really happy about the short I think I just need to get it on a smaller size. Uh, it's in a size eight, but I need a size six. So when I get it in a six, um, it might go up to a 10 because I really loved everything apart from how big it was for me because it was a bigger size. Because it was sold out in um, size six. Because they're like really popular, probably. So next I have the Esmeralda. This is an eight out of 10. It is such a stunning dress. This is the only dress which was in ivory and it was the longest dress I had out of all the old poly haul and surprisingly it was one of my favourites. It makes me feel like a princess how it spreads out when I sit down. I kind of feel like I'm in um, a meadow with bunnies or puffies or something. So I really love that one. Um, I also love the detail with the buttons um, where the chest is. I think that is very gorgeous. And then the last one, we have the Eugenie in the colour blush. This was the most expensive one at £100. This is a 10 out of 10. I'm in love. This one, I love the corset and I love the pink, um, lots of pink detail and little beads on top of the dress, which are pink. And it's just lots of layers under the skirt. It's very frizzy, like a tutu. Um... I love how it's like a little sl slum dress, the bottom. Um, so when you're like dancing and your skirt goes up for you twirling, um, it doesn't show. So I really love that. That's 10. The only thing I'll say about this is I need to get this in a size 8 because this one was very um, tight. It fits me. I just, when we be dancing around because it's my birthday and I want to party, um, I think it'll be a bit hard. So I'm just going to get that one in a size 8. All these dresses will be linked in the description and these are some of the ones I wanted but I couldn't get because they were out of stock and they were like only in the really big sizes or they didn't come in the colours I wouldn't wear. So these are some of them. I really like these ones and the moment they come back in stock, I'm probably going to get them. So thank you guys for everyone who stayed until the end. I hope you loved going on this Opali haul with me. I absolutely loved it. Love you. Bye.